The iPad Dock in iOS 11 is one of my favorite new features to come in Apple's new software update. It really does change the way you use your iPad, and we're gonna talk about it right now. Of course, the concept of a dock is not new, but what is new is that you can access the iOS 11 dock on your iPad from anywhere, from your home screen, from the app switcher, and from your favorite apps. That means that any app that you have located in the dock is immediately accessible just by swiping up like this. So what does this mean? Well, it means no longer having to go back to the home screen and searching for your favorite apps. Now just store all of your favorites in the dock. And the great thing about the dock is that it's expandable. It starts off a little small, but it can grow quite a bit as you add apps. In fact, I'm going to add 10 additional apps to the dock right now for a total of 15 apps. So let's do it. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yes, 15 apps at once, folks. So if we try to add another, it's not going to let you because you've already reached capacity with 15 apps in the dock already. Now, you may be wondering, Jeff, why in the world would I need this many apps in the dock at once? Good question. Well, remember, you can access the dock from anywhere. So that means you can access all of those 15 apps instantly from any app, just swipe up to reveal the dock, even if you're in another application. And it just so happens, that's what we're gonna talk about right now, switching between apps using the dock. So let's go ahead and open up an application. There's Safari, just swipe up to reveal the dock. Now to switch to another app, just tap that app in the dock. To switch to another app, just tap that app in the dock and so on. So you can see how easy it is by means of that dock that can be accessible within any app. That is really awesome. So you can see how fast it is to switch between apps just by swiping up to reveal the dock and then tapping the application that you want to switch to. But what if you honestly have more than 15 apps that you want to launch? Or what if you want to just group all those apps in a particular folder? Well, the good news is that you can store folders inside the dock on iOS 11. And I'm going to create one right now and simply drag that over to the dock. And you can store it wherever you like, just like that. Okay, so let's test this out. Let's open an app, and then swipe up to reveal the dock, and then tap the folder in the dock. And there you go, folks. So now I can access all the apps inside, just as if they were on the dock itself. Pretty awesome. So when you consider the fact that a folder can hold multiple applications, there really is no limit to the amount of apps you can store by extension in the iOS 11 dock. Now there is one last thing I'd like to talk about today and you can find it in the settings app under general, multitasking and dock. At the bottom there, you'll notice a show suggested and recent apps toggle. You just turn that little switch on to enable this new iOS 11 feature. So this will allow you to access recent apps right from the dock. But there is one stipulation and that is that the app cannot already be in the dock because it doesn't make sense because the app's already available in the dock, no need to show it in recent apps. So I don't have the podcast app in the dock. So when I open up the podcast app and close it out, guess what's gonna appear? Append it to the end of the dock, right there, the podcast app icon. So that allows me to access the podcast app from anywhere within iOS thanks to recent apps. I can do the same thing with OmniFocus because it's not already in the dock. It shows up in my recent app section. And one last app, the Home app. And because this app is not already in the dock, it shows up right in the recent app section as well. So I have three apps for a total of 18 different apps at once right there on the iOS 11 dock. But this section isn't just for recent apps. It also works with suggested apps by means of continuity, which includes handoff and location-based app suggestions. So I'll go ahead and open up Safari on my iPhone and you can see it suggests Safari on my iPad. So I open it up, which allows me to continue browsing 9 to 5 Google right where I left off. So ladies and gentlemen, that has been a look at the new and improved dock for the iPad on iOS 11. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments section. This is Jeff with 9 to 5 Mac.